Xbox and Bethesda's combined E3 game showcase is just right around the corner, and I've compiled some of the biggest leaks and rumors regarding the show and some of the individual games that could be there. We have a lot here to talk about, so let's get into it. What is going on everybody? It's Randall 419 the man with the million, back again with another video. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. If you guys can do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and please hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. As we all know by now, the Xbox and Bethesda Combined Game Showcase will be coming on June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, and I know every Xbox fan has that date circled on the calendar because they want to see new new games, updates on existing games, and they want to see a roadmap of the titles that are be coming out this holiday and the games that they can expect to play next year alongside some cool announcements from Xbox Game Pass. And always at this time of year, right in the leading up to E3, there's always rumors, leaks, speculation about what titles may or may not be at the show. Usually by now, someone on 4chan or someone at Reset Era or someone on NeoGAF pretends to know exactly what the list is and they plaster it all over social media and then everybody shares that list and talks about it and thinks that that is the true list. We haven't seen that happen just yet. I'm sure maybe in a few days we will and that's when I would normally make a video going over if this is true, if it's false, all that stuff. But I've compiled all the latest rumors regarding Xbox's E3 for some trusted insiders and just some speculation that I've seen around the internet. And really quickly for those that have been asking me, yes, my Xbox and Bethesda game show case preview video will be out sometime next week so look forward to that and with that said let's dive into some of the biggest leaks and rumors regarding xbox and bethesda's e3 2021 showcase and we're going to start with my buddy clobral so microsoft and bethesda are expected to reveal five entirely new first party xbox AAA games this summer at least that's what reputable german microsoft insider clobral wrote in a thread about Microsoft's Xbox Game Studios. We all know that during Microsoft's Xbox Series X showcase back in July of last year, four new upcoming titles were announced, including Obsidian's Avowed, Playground Games Fable, Turn 10's new Forza Motorsport installment, and Undead Labs State of Decay 3. However, this year, the insider writes that he believes that he already knows about five entirely new AAA titles from Microsoft's first-party studios. Some of these titles are said to be expected, while some are less so. And Cloverall says, quote, For this year, including Xbox Game Studios Publishing and Bethesda so far, I do think I already know about five completely new AAA titles being announced this summer. Some more expected than others. Clover points out that at this point, plans for the announcements are still shifting, quote, Plans are still fluctuating though, at the end of the day, I think it's a fair expectation that gameplay trailers and or demos should have a bigger presence, at least for the already announced things coming this year and next year. Interesting stuff for sure. As covered earlier this year, Halo Infinite, Forza Horizon 5, Bethesda Starfield, and Age of Empires 4 are expected to make an appearance during Microsoft's online E3 press briefing next month. This press conference is a joint briefing together with Bethesda. Whether we'll also be seeing more from the highly anticipated Perfect Dark reboot Fable and Rares Everwild remains to be seen. Now this is the type of rumor that I like to read. Five new AAA games announced by Xbox at this E3. Who knows? knows when they're going to release. Maybe some of them are this fall. Maybe some of them are next year. But I totally trust the information that Cloberal has. He's been a member of the Xbox community. He has a large Twitter presence where he pretty much tries to go in depth about everything that Xbox Game Studios is doing. So I trust his information here and let's break it down. He basically said five new AAA games and I'm just going to go off the top of my head and try to guess what those five games are. We already know Forza Horizon 5 has been heavily rumored to be releasing this year. I think that is one of them. There's also Project Omen, which we'll be talking about in a little bit from Arcane Austin. I think that is the second of five games. The third, I think, is the title that Jez Corden teased out with the Typhoon emoji, aka Project Typhoon. I fully expect that title to also be revealed at this year's E3. So that's three titles I'm pretty sure about that are going to be at E3, which leads to left. Maybe Compulsion Games is ready to show off what they've been working on since We Happy Few. 
Maybe Obsidian has something else to show. We know they have a ton of different projects in the works. We know that Grounded is a thing and I'll probably get a one over release sooner or later. We know they're already working on Avon, but they definitely have more projects. Maybe one of them is in a state they could show. Maybe Microsoft will show off Project Dragon in a CGI tease, the high fantasy RPG game rumored to be made by the Hitman developers IO Interactive. Either way, I think Forza Horizon 5, Project Typhoon, and Project Omen from Arcane Austins are a shoe in and are three of those five titles. I'm just really curious and excited to see what the other two games Clobral says he knows about. Can't wait for June 13th to find out if all this stuff is true. Now, if you're wondering what Project Omen is, earlier this year, job listings suggested that Arcane Studios' Austin team, who developed Prey and Dishonored, were working on a new fantasy IP. Now, some new details on whatever this new game is have potentially emerged, and the game is apparently closer to launch than you'd expect. This rumor originated on Reset Era and has since been shared on Twitter by Xbox News. Arcane Austin's new IP is apparently called Omen, or that's its working title at least, and has vampires. The game apparently has a spring 2022 target launch window and will allegedly be revealed at E3, perhaps with the CGI trailer. The tweet from Xbox News says, latest rumors on Bethesda Arcane is working on a new IP, working title omen with vampires, and that Starfield is focused on space exploration like Outer Wilds or No Man's Sky. Now, I know some of you might be asking yourselves, wait a minute, how is this possible? How is Arcane gonna put out a vampire game next year when they're currently working on a PS5 exclusive Deathloop? The Omen game must be really small, must be a double-A game and not a full triple-A game like Deathloop is. And you know what? You'd be wrong for thinking that because Arcane is actually too different studios. Arcane Leon is the one working on Deathloop, and Arcane Austin is a completely different studio whose last game, I believe, was Prey. That came out in 2017, and they have to be ready to show what project they've been working on since then. So yes, I believe Arcane Austin will show their next game at E3. I do believe the rumors that it's called Omen and it deals with vampires. Can't wait to see what that game is. Now, what about Obsidian's big RPG that they showcased last year, Avowed? How close is that to release, and will we see it at this year's E3? Well, Avowed, Obsidian Entertainment's upcoming Xbox RPG is coming along nicely, and is said to be shown off this year, possibly as soon as next month. The first-person RPG was officially revealed during Microsoft's Xbox Series S showcase back in July of last year. Since then, information about the game has been rather scarce. With development on most titles having been impacted in some way by COVID, how is Obsidian's title coming along and when will Microsoft reveal more about the game? Well, if Microsoft Insider Sponger is to be believed, the title is coming along nicely and fans are set to get another look at the RPG later this year. In a thread about Microsoft Xbox Game Studios, the Insider posted that he's a little confused about Jeff Grubb's recent claims that the game won't be ready for this year's E3 showcase. As a matter of fact, the last he heard is that it will, in fact, be shown off during Microsoft's Xbox Media Briefing. Quote, I need to say that I'm a little bit confused with Jeff's statement that Avowed will not be ready for E3, as the info that I have is that, quote, we'll have a trailer for our big game at E3, and Avowed will be shown this year, and the game is in great shape, almost fully on schedule. I didn't post it a week ago, as you know how things can go crazy if you post anything. Also, I don't want to speculate anything, as I know that Jeff has a great record. It could be related to planning, but game is in good shape, and it will be shown this year. From the conversation, I was convinced that it would be gameplay trailer for E3. Now, I'm pretty much confused. In a follow-up post, Sponger said that he expects a late 2022, possibly early 2023 release for Avowed. I think at one point, Avowed was slated in to be shown off this E3 with some gameplay, but as always, I think plans shifted and Obsidian's going to focus on a different title. And who knows what that could be? Maybe they're in a position where they could announce the Outer Worlds 2 already. There was some talks a couple weeks ago from Take-Two and Private Division where they basically came out and said, yeah, we won't be publishing any more titles from this series. Microsoft owns it moving forward. So maybe they take the avowed footage that was supposed to be shown off at this year's E3. Maybe they hold it for XO21 or the Video Game Awards and Obsidian shows a new game they've been working on. I think that might be what is happening here. Although it is great to see Spronger say Avowed is on schedule and might be coming out end of next year or early 2023, but I guess maybe that depends on when Starfield releases, because if Starfield, your big 
quarter four release for next year. I doubt Microsoft wants to put Avowed up against that. So maybe Avowed is early 2023 instead of competing against Starfield. Now here's the last quote unquote leak or rumor that I want to talk about. We have one here that says Reddit and Cloberal Ninjas are at it again. For quick context, Cloberal has been leaking stuff since 2018 and has been very accurate for the last few years and tends to leak most of the E3 stuff from Microsoft. So he says Starfield, Halo Infinite, Wolfenstein 3, Kojima's game, Project Dragon RPG by Ion Interactive, Project Omen, the Dracula Vampire new game, new IP from Arcane, Forza Horizon 5 with this year release date set in Mexico, Avowed, the game is in great shape and is almost fully on schedule for release, and bonus, a female artist at Playground Games also stated that we should be seeing the game Fable soon. She's an outsourced artist, however no word from Cloberal on this particular title, I would not hold my breath. So the first things first, Cloberal didn't really say any of this stuff, but we're gonna take a look at each individual thing. Starfield is 100% gonna be at the show. I think it's going to open it. Halo Infinite is clearly gonna be there. We're probably gonna have eight to 10 minutes with some multiplayer campaign, Forge, all kind of jam packed. Maybe it ends the show. Wolfenstein 3, I'm not sure if that game is even real. Maybe it shows up, but I'm banking on no. And then we have here the Kojima game. I don't think that's going to show up simply because I don't think the deal has been finalized. I think Xbox is going to try their hardest to get that deal done and then reveal the project at Jeff Keighley's VGAs. Project Dragon RPG, I don't think will be at the show simply because it's a long way away, although they could tease it. Project Omen, I do believe is there. Forza Horizon 5 will be launching this year and is set in Mexico, according to all the rumors. Avowed, we just talked about. I think Obsidian is going to show another game and about the female artist at Playground. I don't know much about that, but I don't expect Fable to show up this year. I think it will be at E3 2022. Well guys, that's the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what five new games you would like to see from Xbox Game Studios. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified immediately whenever I drop a video like this. Please share this out on social media or tell a friend about the channel. And if you wanna take your support even further, you can always hit that join button where you will get access to channel badges and emotes for the Xbox Two podcast we do every single Friday or Saturday with Jez Corden from Windows Central. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.